Sports Scene, Hampton Roads premiere interview show with Greg Picaveras each Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11. And you look at that, 4-4 four and four at home, which is just average, 4-3-1 four, and one on the road. I mean, you're not going to win any games like that. They were not the same team after they beat the Packers, yet the Packers were a totally different team. Interact with Sports Scene on Twitter, at Greg Bick, and listen weekly as Greg interviews distinguished guests with excellent commentary and insight. Sports Scene, Saturdays at 10 a.m. on the Lighthouse 100.1 FM. From Chesapeake, Virginia, the Lighthouse 100.1 presents Sports Scene. Sports Scene features local, regional, and nationally acclaimed guests and excellent interviews. Follow Sports Scene on Twitter at Greg Bick. Now here is Greg Bickaveras. Sports Scene presented by Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. Sports Scene Midweek Online, Saturday on the radio and WPMH from 10 to 11. Also on TuneIn.com by typing WPMH in the search bar. Tell your friends about Sports Scene. Twitter at Greg Bick, at GJB Radio. And you can see the rest of my Twitter handles on GJBTV.com in the contact section. Thank you to our military for what you do 24 7. Guest lineup presented by Mi Casita Mexican Restaurant in Virginia Beach. Don't forget, Cinco de Mayo's coming up. Phone line presented by Outback Steakhouse in Kempsville, now delivering. GJBTV.com. Congratulations to Virginia for winning the national championship in college basketball as well. Great time working for Fox in soccer recently. Major League Baseball. The Nationals have two games on Fox in May and June at home and some on the road. Great interviews, excellent guests, business segments, highlights commentary, what teased me off. Thank you for listening to Sports Scene. We love our regulars, tourists, newcomers who listen online and on the radio. Mark your calendar for May 30th to June 2nd as St. Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church in Newport News presents the, the Newport, Newport News Greek, Greek Festival. Festival. Eat, drink, and celebrate authentic Greek culture on the peninsula. Located at 60 Traverse Road off exit 258B on Route 17 in Newport News. For more, log on to NewportNewsGreekFestival.org. See you May 30th to June 2nd at the Newport News Greek Festival. Opa! Catch up on archived editions of Sports Scene by going to gjbtv.com and clicking the YouTube image on the homepage. Now back to Sports Scene with Greg Bicaveras. Welcome back to Sports Scene. We want to thank our good friends at CP Shuckers, Locals Tradition. Go by and see all the great people, Matt and Mark, right there at Shore Drive Pacific Avenue. Delicious food, especially seafood, great appetizers, steak bites, hang out with your friends and family, sandwiches, burgers, all the games on TV, Major League Baseball, and of course, good food all the time at CP Shuckers. Like them on Facebook and visit their website today. Open seven days a week for good food. It's a pleasure to welcome back George Pantis. We've had him on Sports Scene and Sports Highlights. Wrestling extraordinaire, teacher at Hampton High School. George, good to talk to you. Thank you. Always a pleasure to talk to George Pantis. And George, uh, how did you get involved in wrestling? That is a story that will take a book and a half, but the short version is fell in love with it watching it on uh, on TV back in the late 60s early 70s it was the only thing we had around this was after the sports squires the Virginia squires had folded and it was the first time I saw something on TV sports uh, entertainers uh, to use the word for today that then I could see them two weeks later uh, over at the Hampton Coliseum so I fell in love with it because these were sports athletes at their best and I could get to see them live live and in person a uh, week after they had their program on TV. Yeah, it seems like back then a lot of the guys really were into wrestling. It wasn't as much show, especially when you talk about Johnny Valentine and Ric Flair. He was a little bit of a showman, but Black Jack Mulligan, you know, Igor, those guys were more, they seemed like they really loved to wrestle as well. Very much so, and that really was the only way you could break into the business at that time. If you did not, and I don't mean necessarily having collegiate background, although many of them did, uh, you had to learn the fundamentals of wrestling. As uh, Ollie Anderson, another name from the past, said, the marquee says wrestling. And if you didn't have that in your repertoire, you did not succeed. Big deal coming up this year, too. Fox is getting involved. That's going to be great exposure for the WWE. 
Yes, indeed. And speaking of great exposure, of course, they just literally had their uh, their Super Bowl uh, of the season, WrestleMania 35, breaking all kinds of records. It was absolutely amazing. MetLife Stadium has never had that many people in there before. 82,265 people from all 50 states sold the building out, and what blows my mind, 68 of uh, countries from around the world have people that went to that show. You know the McMahon family pretty well. You've been involved with them, especially with some of your archives and so forth. You just saw a football league just fold the alliance. Do you think that his venture into football for the second time will make it in the future? That's uh, that's a lot of competition to go against the NFL and college football. Where I agree about the competition, what impresses me the most about Vince McMahon is the fact that he never says never. And when he tries something and, he doesn't, and it doesn't work, either he will realize this is not our venture or will find ways to tweak it. He's so determined to make the Football League work that I believe in the bottom of my heart this time he learned his lessons from the past or he would not be uh, attempting to do it again. So I truly believe that this time around it will succeed. Yeah, it's been several uh, years since he last ventured into football. Greg Bickavaris, at Greg Bick on Twitter. We'll get all the social media from George in just a moment. But we mentioned some of those big names from the past. HBO recently, within the last uh, year or so, did a nice documentary on Andre the Giant. Shame that he lived such a lavish lifestyle as far as alcohol and everything was to the extreme but uh, there's a lesson to be learned there like the old greek saying everything in moderation is that the way the wwe is now is everything in moderation are they still kind of having that lavish type of uh sport and exhibition well uh, the the, the truth, of course, is that it is a publicly traded company. And because of that, there are different rules and regulations that they have to follow now to please the sponsors, to, to make sure that they have a full, uh, a, a broader spectrum of fans. So we're back in the old days when you and I growing up watching it and, and seeing, seeing it over here at the Hampton Coliseum, the old Mid-Atlantic, nowadays it really is. I mean, there, Vince McMahon has said in the past, our competition is, is the circus. Our competition is the soap operas on TV. Uh, and, of course, which is why not only he, he's expanding with the football, but the, the variety of movies that he's been making and producing, it, it has become a spectacle, but on a much more grandier scale, Broadway-type shows, if you will, and, and Las Vegas-type type presentations. But it's, it's what the, the new fans crave, or they would not have sold out the, uh, you know, the Met Life like they did. Well, tell us about some of your big events in the spring and the summer coming up. Yes, sir. Uh, speaking of sold out, we actually had a show recent, recently uh, over at the Masonic Temple where uh, one of the big names was Jeff Jarrett, or Double J there from WWE fame, who's now back in the WWE working as an agent for mm. them. So that's really very amazing. We sold our building out over, at the, over in Norfolk. Independent wrestling has, has really... Um, this is, this is the classic time to be a fan of wrestling, especially independent wrestling. It's not only WWE that's selling out, but uh, uh, recent, the same weekend, uh, Ring of Honor had a show at Madison Square Garden, and that sold out. Hmm. New Japan, uh, so many. Uh, Cody Rhodes, uh, Dusty Rhodes' son, uh, has started, along with uh, a couple of other gentlemen, started a, a new venture called uh, AEW. And the founder, you would appreciate this, although I'm sure you're aware of it, uh, uh, the part owner of that is actually a part owner of the, uh, of the football, the national team football league, uh, the Jaguars. Yeah. And so there, you know, he's got his money in, in to make it work. So I think, you know, that kind of shows what's happening in the, in the local scene. And, and speaking of that, we have uh, uh, shows that we do throughout the area. We did one recently in Hampton. We're doing one in Suffolk. And then our next big sh- big show is uh, June the fifth, that uh, will take place back in Norfolk. And for that one, we're bringing in the original bad guy, Razor Ramon. Mm. 
Yes. yes. All uh, kinds of names. In, the one in Suffolk, I do want to say real quick that the one in Suffolk, uh, and people can go to our website to get all this information at www.vcw slash wrestling dot com to get all the details of times and dates. But the one the show in Suffolk, we are actually are bringing in the very first African American uh, world heavyweight champion, Ron Simmons. And what's so really cool about this particular time, the first time in 20 years that the original belt that he won will be there with him. So the fans will have the opportunity to touch it, wear it, take pictures with it, and Ron. It's it's just an amazing time to be a, a fan of independent wrestling, of all wrestling. Talking to George Panis, Greg Bigaveras, glad you're with us. This is Sports Scene every Saturday morning from 10 to 11 on WPMH. Give us all your social media, George. Yes, sir. Uh, of course, you can follow us on Facebook, and that's Vanguard Championship Wrestling. Uh, I gave the website already. They can also look for me. I'm the commissioner of uh, Vanguard Championship Wrestling, and my name is George Pontas, P-A-N-T-A-S, and I will gladly accept uh, fans who are looking to hook up, and that way we can even share more information upcoming. With And if they have questions specifically, I will gladly answer them. Uh, we are very, very proud of, he- of us uh, being on your show today, and I love uh, when I get a chance on Saturdays, and usually as I'm driving around to listen to sports scene, and I really am very grateful and thankful that you have us on today. My pleasure, George. Let me ask you this. Um, are there any old wrestlers still wrestling? I mean, Greg Valentine has wrestled. Is he still wrestling today, or is he totally given it up? Greg is still wrestling today, not as active as he was in the past, so he takes limited bookings. Uh, we recently had uh, our heavyweight champion was Billy Gunn, part of the New Age Outlaws, and Billy, of course, just and DX and just entered the WWE Hall of Fame this last weekend at WrestleMania. So, so there are there are some that uh, will are still very active. Our our last month, our heavyweight champion, he lost the belt to a young upcoming gentleman named Gino, uh, who works actually for Booker T as well in Texas trained there, uh, was Gangrel, and Gangrel was instrumental in, in helping Edge and Christian uh, become the names that they became in WWE. So yes, there are some around, and, uh, and that's one of our formulas that works for us, is to bring a name from the past, hopefully those that are still active, that way the fans get to see them and relive seeing them in person one more time. George, give us the website one more time. Our website is www.com vcw-wrestling.com All the best to your events and have a wonderful um, Easter season as well. Thank you so much. Have a great one. Very good. George Pant is right there. Not only a local educator, but very involved in wrestling. This is Sports Scene at Greg Bick on Twitter. G-R-E-G-B-I-C G-J-B-T-V.com For my background information, stay tuned. We'll be back after these messages. Sports Scene, Hampton Roads premiere interview show with Greg bick each Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11. And you look at that, 4-4 four and four at home, which is just average. 4-3-1 four, and one on the road. I mean, you're not going to win any games like that. They were not the same team after they beat the Packers, yet the Packers were a totally different team. Interact with Sports Scene on Twitter at Greg Bick and listen weekly as Greg interviews distinguished guests with excellent commentary and insight. Sports Scene Saturdays at 10 a.m. on the Lighthouse 100.1 FM. Congratulations again to the Virginia Cavaliers for winning the national championship over Texas Tech recently. Congratulations to Coach Ben and his wonderful staff and great players representing the state of Virginia so well. You don't always have to dominate teams by winning by 20 points, but play together as a team for 40 minutes, offense, defense, players off the bench support, and limiting the mistakes as well. Great job by Virginia representing the state of Virginia so well by winning the national championship on CBS in men's basketball. Mark your calendar for May 30th to June 2nd as Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church in Newport News presents the, the Newport, Newport News Greek, Greek Festival. Festival. Eat, drink, and celebrate authentic Greek culture on the peninsula. Located at 60 Traverse Road off exit 258B on Route 17 in Newport News. For more, log on to NewportNewsGreekFestival.org. See you May 30th to June 2nd at the Newport News Greek Festival. Opa!
Interact with Sports Scene on Twitter at Greg Bick. Email B-I-C-O-G-B at Hotmail.com. Now back to Greg bick in the Hampton Roads Online Mall.com studios. Yeah, I want to thank our good friends at Outback Steakhouse in Kempsville, your place for great Easter dinner. Mike and his staff have a spacious, nice dining area, bar, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Excellent burgers, steaks, soup, salads, appetizers, seafood, pasta, chicken, ribs, chops, desserts, beverages, dining, or carry out. They deliver, as noted. Of course, uh, 1255 Fordham Drive in Virginia Beach in the heart of Kempsville. Give them a call at 523-4832. Outback Steakhouse in Kempsville. They've been a friend of the tides as well for several years. Good food, good times at Outback Steakhouse in Kempsville. It's a pleasure to welcome back our regular guests as we hear every spring. Also sprinkled out throughout the year. Media Relations Director for over a decade with the Norfolk Tides, Ian Locke. Ian, good to talk to you. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for having me. Very good. Busy time of the year, my friend. Very busy time of the year, getting uh, started for the uh, another season at Harbor Park, but uh, it's a good time of year. The weather's getting warmer, uh, baseball is back, and uh, looking forward to another season uh, out here at the ballpark. Let's talk about how many years it's been at Harbor Park. Uh, for the Tides, it's, uh, 1993 was the first year, so this is, what, 27th year, I believe, uh, baseball at Harbor Park, and uh, I've been here since 2005, so I've seen a whole, whole bunch of them over the years as well, and uh, really excited to kick off another year. This year, we got a, a ton of really good promotions lined up, and, uh, you know, team should be pretty good this year, and we're just, we're just excited to get it all started. Absolutely. Now, when you talk about the building itself, it hasn't really changed a lot. The, the seats are pretty much the same. Have you added seats as far as the uh, layout, or talk about the infrastructure and the outside of the building, because it still is the same color as has always been, kind of a beige color. Yeah, the, the Harbor Park, you know, was, was built in 93. It's actually the same architects that uh, built Camden Yards, uh, which was built a year earlier. Um, so it's kind of similar in that with that brick facade on the outside. But um, over the years, it's, there's been some changes on the inside. You know, when, when the park was originally built, uh, there was no right field party deck, which is now one of the uh, you know most popular staples uh, in the ballpark. We've added a uh, group picnic area um, kind of down, uh, sorry, a brand new picnic area in left field uh, last last season that is a covered uh, picnic area, really great for the summertime with large groups where you can stay um, out of the elements, you know, out of the sun and out of the rain if necessary. Uh, we added what's known as the landing down the right field line, and that's got some, some high top tables and uh, great seats for groups uh, as well. So we've added a lot of stuff um, around the ballpark. And then this year, the, the big change for uh, the stadium is actually brand new lights. Uh, we did a whole uh, lighting project in the off offseason. Um, you know, those of you who have been to games before may have noticed sometimes we've had, we've had some issues over the years once in a while with, with the lights just kind of going out. Um, so we completely regenerated the entire uh, light system. We uh, have now uh, high-def lights. Um, all throughout the stadium, and they can actually change color as well. So um, when it's breast cancer night or St. Patrick's Day or whatever it is, we can change all the lights to a certain color, um, you know, for fireworks nights, things like that. So it'll be, that'll be a cool new, uh, cool new toy. We're going to play with it uh, at the ballpark as the season goes on, and you know, you'll notice it when a, when a player hits a home run or, uh, you know, it's the end of the game or the Tides win, uh, the lights will kind of change colors and do some fancy things, and we're hoping that'll add to the the atmosphere of uh, you know fun and excitement at the ballpark. I guess the only time we won't see it is during the day games, of course. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. Uh, you know, some, if, if we have a day game that goes uh, when you have to turn the lights on, that means that game is going a little too long for, for anyone, that's for sure. Talking to Ian Locke here with the Norfolk Tides, a lot of excitement. Basically, it's like a land cruise fun. A lot of tourists, of course, listen on the weekends, and they look forward to coming to the games. All your games are on the radio. Talk about how many home games do you have. Yep, so we start, um, we have, you know, early April, we have 70 home games throughout the year, and we go all the way through uh, until Labor Day this year. Our last game is on September 2nd, Labor Day afternoon. So uh, pretty much we're home uh, pretty much almost every other week um, throughout the year. There's some, you know, back-to-back weekends kind of sprinkled in throughout. But uh, for those fans looking out to come out to the ballpark, pretty much every Saturday night we have fireworks. Um, I think we have the only fireworks night this year on a Saturday where we have a home game uh, where we don't have fireworks is April 20th. So every other Saturday throughout the season we have fireworks. We also have fireworks on July 3rd uh, before the you know Independence Day holiday and a couple fireworks nights the last weekend of the year for fan appreciation nights. So uh, fireworks are a thing we have all season and then um, a lot of giveaways on Friday nights and Sundays are um, sprinkled in with some bark in the park and some uh, other 
you know, fun things to bring families out for. So um, our entire promotional schedule is found on our website, NorfolkTides.com, and we try and do at least one promotion every day. So if we have always have something going on out here and, uh, you know, that changes throughout the year. So feel free to, you know, fans keep checking back, and we have all sorts of stuff all season. And, um, you know, we, it's not just the baseball game. We, we like to provide a, a great environment for family and, uh, you know, get to get a beer, get a hot dog, enjoy the weather, watch some good baseball, and maybe take home a free hat while you're at it. Absolutely. Always a lot of great promotions at Harbor Park, something for everyone. Really, it's hard to find anything that's got 70 days and nights of entertainment from the spring through the summer. There's no other place in Hampton Roads that can say that other than the oceanfront that's got 70 days of n- and nights of entertainment. I know you guys take great pride in that because there are some casual baseball fans that attend as well. Yeah, and, and it's and it's great baseball too. I mean, we don't. I don't want to undersell how you know these guys are AAA guys. We had our uh, opening roster uh, late last week, and you know we had I think twenty of the twenty five players on our opening roster have already played in the major leagues. Um, and you know throughout the year, we generally have um, a whole bunch of um, players that are promoted throughout the season. So you very often will see you know a player here at Harbor Park on a on a Tuesday, and by Friday he might be playing with the Orioles uh, up in Baltimore. So. Um, you know, it is great, um, you know, promotions and great atmosphere at the ballpark, but it is also very good baseball. It's, uh, you know, AAA baseball, and these guys are, are very talented, and a lot of times it's really cool to see these guys up close uh, before they become, you know, the next the next stars at the next level. New manager this year. New manager this year. Gary Kendall uh, came to us from uh, from Bowie, AA Bowie. He was there for eight years. Um, he was actually the winningest manager uh, in uh, Bowie Bay Sox franchise history, and uh, led the Bay Sox to postseason appearances in three of his eight years there, um, including the in 2015, Bowie won the Eastern League Championship. So uh, we're excited to have him here. He, um, you know, we've worked a little bit with him as the season get uh, got underway. We'd certainly certainly miss Ron Johnson, who was here for seven years before that. But uh, Gary's been great to work with, and we're excited to have him. And uh, you know, he's he's managed some of the. You know, the, definitely the up and coming prospects from Bowie over the years. You know, the Manny Machados, the uh, Zach Britton's, you know, um, Jonathan Scopes, Chris Tillman's thing. You know, Mark Trumbo, Matt Weeders. So, um, you know, he's he's managed those guys and managed the younger players. And we've got a kind of a younger team this year. And Gary's Gary's known these guys before and. We're hopeful uh, they can continue their success and, as they move up to Baltimore. Talking to Ian Locke, of course, the media relations manager for the Norfolk Tides, also a board member for the Hampton Road Sports Media Hall of Fame as well, talking all things Tides as well. And you talk about those 70 days and nights, a lot of good food there too. Oh, absolutely. There's something for something for everyone. I mean, you can get the standard ballpark fare of the you know, hamburger and hot dog and get the popcorn or the peanuts. we got all, you know so many things throughout the ballpark, but we also have... Um, our chef, uh, Steve Gillette, makes uh, homemade barbecue every day. And there's a barbecue stand down the third base line where you can get a, a barbecue platter with some, you know, coleslaw and baked beans and uh, really kind of pick out that way. And we also have some, you know, some other stuff that's not necessarily uh, as, as healthy for you, uh, some deep-fried Twinkies and some other <laughs> other fun uh, fun things around the concourse. So, um, you know, there's there's stuff for everyone. It's it's a great way to, uh, you know, like you mentioned earlier, it's a, it's a – 70, 70 days and nights where you can come out to the ballpark. Um, we're right on the river, so you get a nice little breeze coming off the water and um, you know, get a get a hot dog, get a cold drink, and watch the baseball. You, you really can't beat it. Are you always surprised when the schedule comes out? Because the schedule comes out kind of early, how it's broken down month to month as far as home games? Um, a little bit. I mean, it's, it's one thing you know, folks may not know with, with our schedule is um, – you know the league when they put together the schedule, they don't necessarily care as much at this level um, compared to the major league level about, I guess, a schedule balance. Where and I say schedule balance as in we play um, within our division way more than you know we may play other teams. Um, you know we play I think Durham twenty two times or something like that this year, and Charlotte eighteen times. Even though they're in our same division, they don't really matter. They don't really care too much that um, you may play one team more than another team. So what they what the, the general managers and other folks in the league do care about is the number of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday home dates, uh, because obviously those are the days when we draw, you know, draw the best when people are off and oh, the weekend. So um, the schedule, if you look, is is almost always created by the league with that in mind, where the all the teams have a, a very nearly identical number of weekend home dates, um, and sometimes that does lead to a, 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 a random, you know, two game series here and there that kind of. Uh, makes the schedule kind of 
uh, not as continuous as some of the players would like. But um, you know, so it is a, it is an interesting one to see every year and see how it breaks down. And you know, we have a weird schedule this year where in April we have eleven home games and they're all in a row. Yeah. So our first home stand is an eleven game home stand, and then we go on the road, uh, you know, to Columbus, Louisville, and Durham, uh, and we don't come back till May second. So uh, you know, we we start on the road with seven, we have eleven at home, and then we go on the road for nine. Um, so it's a very very weird schedule to start off. So, um, but that's just part of the business. You know, everyone has something similar, and we uh, you know we do our best to uh, to accommodate. And I always joke around with the college football fans. That's almost like two home seasons, you know. <laughs> so don't be huffing and puffing yeah, college football about I, five or six games. Yeah, I don't really feel too bad for those the folks working in the NFL or, or college football. You know, when they have, you know, a, a, like you said, a seven eight game home schedule or something like that. And well, yeah, that's a week. We do that in a week, no problem. So, yeah. You know, we're going to have eleven games. We actually have the first home stand uh, three high school games here as well for some local high schools. So. Uh, you know that ends up being about a fourteen game, fourteen game homestand for us, uh, played in eleven days. So we, uh, we we cram in the cram in the games and cram in the hours when we can. Who has to sign off on that? Because the field does take a beating. You know that from the past, especially with the rain. Does Joe sign off of that or uh, Ken? Yeah, that's a that's a uh, Joe Joe thing. But it's mostly um, you know the, we give the opportunity to local high schools where if they can sell, uh, it's kind of a fundraiser where they can sell some tickets to the the Tides game, and if they sell. You know a certain amount of tickets, then they can play on the field uh, before or after a game. So uh, we're really happy to do that for the local high schools. You know, it's, it's you know I've I played baseball growing up, not in the area, but I still remember all the cool stadiums I played in. Uh, you know, I don't remember if we won or lost, but I can still remember that. You know, when I was a youngster in upstate New York, I played in, at Cooperstown and I played in Syracuse mm. and I played in you know Scranton, Wilkesbury, some other some some cool fields when I was growing up and. Uh, like I said, I don't I don't remember if we won, but I, yeah. I do know that I played at Cooperstown and that was and that was a lot of fun. So uh, we're happy to to help with that, um, you know, for the youngsters here and hopefully give them a memory that they'll they'll always remember. Yep, college baseball over the years as well. Give us the social media, Ian. Yep, uh, for fans who are looking, like I said, for you want to get our, our promotional schedule, they can always look at us on NorfolkTides.com. dot uh, com. You can follow us on Twitter at uh, at Norfolk Tides. Our Facebook page always has our promotions as well facebook.com slash Norfolk Tides and uh, you can follow us on Instagram as well uh, Norfolk Tides very good. We'll be talking to you a lot more this summer, starting off early. As you know, folks, we usually did the interviews with Ian toward Memorial Day, but we're starting off early to get a head start. Ian, all the best in April and May, and we will talk to you later this month. All right. Sounds great. Thanks. Thanks for having me, Greg. My pleasure. Ian Locke right there with the Norfolk Tides Media Relations Director. It's that time of the year. Crack the bat. Let's play some baseball and have some fun. Sports scene will continue after this. Save the date for the Pure Silk Championship. Visit Williamsburg May 20th through the 26th, 2019 in Kingsmill as the LPGA returns to the Kingsmill Resort in Williamsburg, Virginia as Pure Silk Championship. Family, friend, events Saturday and Sunday. Of course, total seven days. For more, log on to puresilkchampionship.com. Of course, enhanced by the LPGA in Kingsmill as well in Sports Williamsburg. Great uh, single day grounds ticket for 25 bucks. Weekly clubhouse badge for $200. Food trucks and craft beer. Excellent things going on as they bring the local flavors and brews to the tournaments this year. Great golf by the LPGA going on May 20th through the 26th in Kingsmill. See you there. Mark your calendar for May 30th to June 2nd as Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church in Newport News presents the, the Newport, Newport News, News Greek, Greek Festival. Festival. Eat, drink, and celebrate authentic Greek culture on the peninsula. Located at 60 Travers Road off exit 258B on Route 17 in Newport News. For more, log on to NewportNewsGreekFestival.org. See you May 30th to June 2nd at the Newport News Greek Festival. Opa! Good junk, bad junk. Old electronics, computers, cables in a box, laying around, what's to be done? Fortunately, Providence Computers in Chesapeake is your 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily drop-off location for recycling all such stuff. We even appraise and purchase the newer items for hard, cold cash. Providence Computers is located at 473 Kempsel Road in Chesapeake, behind Wawa and next to Walmart. If it's your home or business, we welcome the chance to partner with you to recycle sensibly. Call us today, 382-7768, and see us at ProvidenceComputers.com. You are listening to Sports Scene with Greg Bicavaris. Now, back to Greg. It's now time for Greg's Highlights, presented by Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. 
I liked GJBTV.com, HRSMHOF.com, Hampton Roads Online Mall.com, GJBTV.com. Click the YouTube link for archive shows and surf the various pages. Question of the day presented by Buffalo Wild Wings and Newport News to our esteemed producer, Andrew. Andrew, how do you delegate chores around the house, such as laundry, house cleaning, the grass, etc.? Yeah, well, I'd say my wife and I are fairly traditional. The last two years, though, we've both been working at least part-time, so we regularly have to have kind of conversations about, okay, hey, I, I've got to do something here. I need you to handle this. But I do a lot of the outside, a lot of the repairs, but we also have a garden. So we kind of split the work on that. And uh, my wife, you know, she's a great cook. So she's the one who's handling most of the meals. My kids wouldn't have it any other way. And uh, laundry usually and things like that. So, yeah, but sometimes we have to have a conversation and and, uh, delegate differently. That's Highlights presented by Play Around Family Fun Center. Go by and see the wonderful crew over there in Yorktown at 5021 George Washington Memorial Highway. Excellent arcade, excellent Putt Putt, great snack bar, a lot of family fun. Is it Play Around Family Fun Center? I like them on Facebook. Mark your calendar for May 30th to June 2nd as Saints Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church in Newport News presents the, the Newport, Newport News Greek, Greek Festival. Festival. Eat, drink, and celebrate authentic Greek culture on the peninsula. Located at 60 Traverse Road off exit 258B on Route 17 in Newport News. For more, log on to NewportNewsGreekFestival.org. See you May 30th to June 2nd at the Newport News Greek Festival. Opa! Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-648-9175. 800-648-9175. That's 800-648-9175. Folks, we have a lot of great festivals coming up this time of the year. We've got the Williamsburg Greek Festival in May in Williamsburg, the Norfolk Greek Festival, and the Newport News Greek Festival. Go and support all three festivals, Williamsburg, Norfolk, Newport News. You can Google all the festivals. Google Williamsburg Greek Festival, Newport News Greek Festival, and Norfolk Greek Festival in the order of Williamsburg first with Norfolk, then Newport News later in the spring. But great events, great food, great beverages great culture in the community, something for everyone at the Williamsburg, Norfolk, and Newport News Greek Festivals. Three wonderful events. Sports Scene, Hampton Roads premiere interview show with Greg Bicaveras each Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11. And you look at that, 4-4 four and four at home, which is just average, 4-3-1 four, and one on the road. I mean, you're not going to win any games like that. They were not the same team after they beat the Packers, yet the Packers were a totally different team. Interact with Sports Scene on Twitter at Greg Bick and listen weekly as Greg interviews distinguished guests with excellent commentary and insight. Sports Scene, Saturdays at 10 a.m. on the Lighthouse 100.1 FM. Catch up on archived editions of Sports Scene by going to gjbtv.com and clicking the YouTube image on the homepage. Now back to Sports Scene with Greg Bickaveras. Save the date for a special event Wednesday, May 15th at the Ziders American Dream Theater. The panel will discuss and moderate it for those in attendance to ask questions questions in an effort to further educate themselves about mental illness and break down the barriers surrounding the topic. Tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for anyone under 18. For more, go to www.thez, the letter Z, dot org, or call 757-499-0317 in collaboration with Present and, of course, Changing the Game, Stories, Discussions, Perspective, and Guidance on Mental Health Within the sports community also our good friends at the virginia sports hall of fame it's a pleasure to talk to george mcclain from the marksman and newport news george welcome uh thank you greg uh, good uh, good to be with you today finally some good weather here in april and of course i guess with good weather like anything else you can't always let your guard down we tend to let our guard down when the weather is nice well uh i guess maybe for the most part uh early on uh the weather's nice so we're able to get outside and participate into more things and uh that usually means that you need to be that much more aware versus letting your guard down 
Mm-hmm. Especially, too, George, because it's daylight longer, if nothing else. I mean, uh, even though the weather might be cool in April, it's daylight longer. People are out more. People are, when you're out more and you're not worried about getting to your car to the building because it's cold, you tend to get involved in things maybe that you might not normally get involved in the dead of winter. Well, uh, true. Uh, I, I would, you know, from a personal standpoint, I, I would tend to think that most of the bad guys, uh, when, when they plan things, would would be probably at, at night versus the daytime. But as we all know, there's there's plenty of assaults that uh, that happen during the day. Uh, so what what's the rule of thumb? There basically, is none, and that means that you have to be prepared, uh, you know, all the, all the time. So. You know, just uh, keep that in mind. Uh, and if you're going to be uh, exercising, you know, if, if you have a concealed carry permit, you're going to be exercising that, that you stay proficient uh, with that, that firearm because you don't know when your number comes up, if it ever will. And, you know, we tell everybody, you know, that it's always, you know, the, the Boy Scout motto, you know, be prepared. And it's always better to be prepared and never need uh, to, to use the that that tool uh but you just you know we we know it's going to happen to somebody uh we always you know pray it's going to be somebody else but one day that somebody else could be you so you just need to be aware and be prepared should that uh, time come yep you can't be naive folks you got to keep your guard up and like george said be prepared talking to george mcclain the owner of the marksman in newport news i'm not going to editorialize on this next event but it's it's a big event coming up in virginia beach you've heard about it something in the water i'm I'm not going to comment on the event itself but with that said virginia beach is one of the biggest cities in the state and anytime you bring a large organization that's normally not part of the infrastructure of the community there are things to be watched the local police are going to have their guards up of course the state police will be involved in the interstates and other areas too because that does affect the community there are a lot of city council concerns there's school system concerns there's weekend concerns there's tourist concerns anytime there's thousands of people coming into a city for whatever reason spring winter summer or fall there has to be some red flags up because safety and and education is number one uh yeah, very true. I, I won't uh, I won't editorialize uh, either, other than to say that I have a very nice uh, backyard, uh, you know, with uh, some grilling accessories and smokers and all of that. And I usually uh, can uh, find something to do versus uh, trying to navigate uh, through crowds such as that. And uh, you'll see it on the news. Something bad's going to going to be happening. I mean, it always does when you get that kind of a crowd together. Right. There are shootings there. Yeah. There are shootings in the spring and the summer before, just during broad daylight for smaller gatherings. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So if they're if they're having those issues but before you get this kind of a crowd together, I can imagine what's going to happen once once you get the crowd, and then you know, just during their, their typical spring break deal, you know, year after year after year, that's all you hear about uh, are all the the shootings that have taken place or the the, the gang uh, violence and, and this type of thing. And uh, I don't know, maybe I would participate in something like that in my my younger days, but at this stage of my life, I just uh, I go the opposite direction. Yeah, I would participate if I was young or medium or old, regardless. And I was talking to somebody earlier too. This is a big concern too, George. Not only in Virginia but everywhere in the country. These people that rent their homes out to strangers. I'm asking them very very succinctly you do a background check for a gun you do a background check when you're walking to a stadium to make sure that you don't carry any uh weapons with you why would you open up your house to strangers the only people that should be coming into your house are number one family close friends or maybe a relative you know i get it help a stranger but you're letting a stranger take over your home for a weekend you have no idea who they're going to bring in the house nor do you have time to do a background background check on them it might be an easy paycheck but it might be a disaster waiting for you when you get back yeah i, I don't disagree with that either uh we're we're right there uh, barking up at that that same tree uh i i, I don't know if it's uh i don't know if, if it's greed that uh you know entice people to to do this but it just doesn't make good sense 
not your home is your number one asset usually next to your your car family's number one of course but your home as far as personal property that's why they call it personal property all right listen so make good judgment folks that's what george tries to tell you every time we do a show be prepared and have good judgment military mondays first responder fridays how's that going george uh, going great. Uh, we got new guys coming into uh, to the base all the time, and uh, they'll they'll pop in and and sometimes find it's a surprise. We tell them, hey, go back and tell your tell your buds. I mean, we're you know, we're here for everybody, so uh, uh, works out uh, works out very well. And uh, quite a few come in on on a, on a weekly basis and take advantage of that discount. Yeah, because every day when people walk into your store, they're learning something different. I guess uh, some people come in for different reasons, but um, one thing about it when you uh, go to the range you learn something that you can use for the rest of your life too that's invaluable well that's right you know and and, and a lot of people uh regardless what your motivation is for, for coming uh some uh like you know, military if, if they're experienced in, in uh, handgun shooting they just like to have a you know a place to go and and, and, and shoot and it's it's a it's a sport it's it's getting the fundamentals down shooting you know, accurately uh and others they're uh, you know, very much into the self-defense uh, deal, and and doing what I suggest, and that's staying proficient, you know, with that uh, with that firearm. So, regardless of what your motivation is for for coming, there is something there for everybody. Absolutely, talking to George McLean, Greg Bick of RSI, Greg Bick on Twitter, Google the Marksman in Newport News, conveniently located in Newport News near Yorktown as well. Very accessible off the interstates too. Something for everyone at the Marksman. Open seven days a week. Also, like their Facebook page for updates as well when somebody comes in for the first time to decide what type of gun they should get uh, does your staff gear them towards something um, from their experience or how do they gear that uh, well it's uh kind of asking interviewing type you know questions that you know we, we we don't try to push someone into a particular gun you know what uh, what may be the best firearm for someone to get? Maybe one that we don't even have in stock at the time. So it, 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 it's not like uh, you might get a car salesman that tries to sell you something what they got on the lot. You know, we we're, we want you to get uh, what what's good for you. And the best way to do that, you know, we we have about I don't know, usually we keep about twenty five to thirty different guns, handguns. Uh, it's available for rent. Uh, so the best way to kind of maybe do that is to get with an instructor and try these firearms out and find one that, that works for you, that fits your hand, that you like to shoot. Uh, before you go spending three, four, five hundred dollars or more, uh, on, on a, on a firearm, because I can guarantee if you grab one and if it's not, if it's not fun for you to shoot, you're not going to shoot it. And mm-hmm. if you don't shoot it, you're not going to be proficient with it. Which means, you know, if you now go to carry it, you're not prepared uh, to, to use it. And that's, that's just a bad situation to be in at that point. Very good. Like anything else, George, you got to be comfortable when you hold something because it's not always uh, going to be good if it's not comfortable. That's right. That's right. Absolutely. You, know, you, you wouldn't wear shoes that don't fit properly, you know, that hurt your feet. And if, if if you go in and get a you buy a handgun because you like the way it looks, but then when you go to shoot it, it hurts your hand or you know it just doesn't fit right, and it, then it may pinch in a in a place uh, on on your pinky or, or something, and you don't like it, you're you're, you're not going to go shoot. Uh, and 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 again, the whole deal, the, the idea behind uh, you know self defense and anything else about being prepared is being proficient. And you can't be proficient looking at the firearm. You have to go and shoot it. Phone number is 872-4130. George, leave us with a a final parting shot. Well, just uh, I want to take off how you opened it up. A lot of activities going on outside, and those uh, who uh, elect to go out and participate in those just need to keep your head on the swivel. Uh, Be aware of your surroundings. Uh, You get people to start coming in close to you. Uh, Be doubly uh, cognizant of uh, of what's uh, going on so uh, be prepared be safe be legal be safe very good george all the best we will talk to you in may and have a good rest of the month of april Thank you, Greg. You do the same. You take care. My pleasure. George McLean, the owner of The Marksman. Folks, go by and see the friendly staff. Google it, The Marksman in Newport News. Something for everyone. You'll be glad you had a chance to visit that place today. 
At Hartman Dentistry, not only do you experience exceptional customer service with compassionate dental care, but with our in-house lab, we're able to offer same-day dentures. Options are available for all budgets. Plus, we work with two credit companies that will finance treatment for patients without insurance or limited coverage. Call Hartman Dentistry today to learn more about how we can fix your smile faster. Call 757-873-3407. That's 873-3407. Mold, trash, rodents, snakeskin, even deceased animals. No, this isn't a Halloween shopping list. It's what might be under your house, in your crawl space. Schedule a free crawl space inspection with the crawl space company and find out what's in your crawl space. Call 757-394-3494 to schedule your free inspection or visit thecrawlspacecompany.net. So, do you know what's in your crawl space? <laughs> Sports and Imports, located at 1322 Transylvania Avenue in Chesapeake. Sports and Imports specializes in all European models without the European price. ASE certified and Bosch certified. Don't waste time and money guessing what the problem is. Sports and Imports can pinpoint the problem and fix it the first time. Make an appointment today. Financing is available. Visit sportsandimports.net or call 545-9394. Catch up on archived editions of Sports Scene by going to gjbtv.com and clicking the YouTube image on the homepage. Now back to Sports Scene with Greg Picaveras. Always a pleasure to talk to our good friend Brenda Tusing from the Royal Chocolate. Brenda, how are you? Happy spring. Happy spring to you, Greg. I'm great today. It's gorgeous out there. It sure is. And with everything spring, the flowers, uh, chocolate, candy, all the great desserts, uh, there's always something mm-hmm. going on at the Royal Chocolate. April, of course, uh, and not only Easter, but there's really a lot going on. Secretary's Day as well. Uh, it's Administrative Assistance Day. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, the 24th of this month. We have a really cool thing that we sort of created. It's um, a $30 value for $25. It's a whole tote filled with chocolates that we've made in the store. You can even get a discount and add an apple to it. It's a great gift. Um, If you want to say thank you to the person that helps your day go round and round. Very nice, very nice. Uh, When somebody walks in the store now, of course, every month you guys have it decorated very well. What is the theme this month? Well, right now, of course, the theme is Easter. Easter is um, a a really big occasion for us. We have a three-pound chocolate bunny, don't Mm. you know? He's a big guy and Mm. just delicious. Uh, So tall and handsome three-pound bunny is right front and center. Um, We also have the eggs, you know, like the peanut butter cream eggs. Oh, yeah. The uh, uh, coconut cream and all of those creamy flavors. And the nice thing about them is we can personalize them. So people come in for their... You know, kids, grandchildren, whatever, and we can write a name on each egg. So it's very personalized. We have, as you know, you you were in the store the other day. We have gorgeous gift baskets. Yes. Um, and sometimes people like to bring in something they've purchased for someone and have us incorporate that into a basket. We can easily do that as well. So, and something about gift baskets, too, they're not just for Easter, but they're really year-round. Oh, they are year-round. We have them out all the time. Um, you know, it can, it can be anything. It can be a birthday. It can be congratulations. We have a lot of uh, real estate agents. We have a, a basket that's shaped like a house, and they use it for closing gifts. Mm-hmm. We have a couple different sizes of those, so different price points. Um, but yeah, thank you baskets, uh, just all kinds of fun things, very generic baskets sometimes, um, or get well, can be for any occasion, people. The gift of chocolate is for everything. I mean, just a thinking of you gift right on up to, we have wine bottles that we dip in chocolate, then you can write a message on them, and we've had people write things like, will you be my bridesmaid, will you marry me, um... You know, congratulations on your new home. All kinds of fun things. Chocolate is is very personal for a lot of people, and we can help with that. Yeah, you know, sometimes when you see people eating food, they might not smile with their dish. But I tell you one thing, people usually smile when they have dessert. I know. that. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's almost like, okay, if I can just eat dinner, I can get to dessert. So that goes back to when you were a kid. All mm-hmm. you wanted was the dessert. 
And then what's that saying? Life short, eat dessert first. Right. A friend of mine, she says that all the time. But uh, <laughs> I guess I was raised always eat your food first, then your dessert. And I guess sometimes when you're ingrained in that as a kid, you kind of, it just, it just stays there. Now, the younger generation, that's a little bit different, like you said. Yeah. Now, of course, coming up in May is a big month as well, and we'll talk in May, but you got uh, Mother's Day. Certainly Mother's Day. We do so many nice things for moms. Um, one thing that I particularly am fond of is uh, sometimes people will buy or bring their moms in for chocolate fondue or buy their mother a chocolate fondue for two cer- certificate um, and then make a um, you know reservation to come in with them at a later time. I sort of like that idea, and not everybody obviously could do it, not everybody's mom is right here, but, you know, spending some time with your mom, uh, come in and enjoy chocolate fondue with her is always, I think, a nice idea. Yeah, especially, too, and, you know, you mentioned those nice time, we're in the spring, I love spring, I like all seasons about the same, but there's one thing about spring, it's daylight longer, you got the pastel colors, yeah. especially yeah. at your store, you got the, all the nice, great chocolate, people are smiling, they're outside sipping their drink, and you guys got mm-hmm. great beverages too the winter is more harsh it's cold it gets dark early people are just trying to get from their car to their home pretty quick but amazing how spring is just all hope eternal and dessert goes hand in hand with that yes it does it's time to celebrate life again that means dessert yes yeah yeah you have a great uh, website the royalchocolate.com you're very active on facebook and uh, of Mm -hmm. course uh, talk about your other social media um, well, we also have um, a really good, I think, um, email blast that goes out. We have a different special every week, and so people can sign up for that email blast online or when they're in the, in the store, they can enter um, a drawing to win a chocolate fondue for two. We, we uh, award somebody that prize each month. Um, but we have a lot of specials going on, special events in the store. We try to keep people updated on what's happening in Town Center. Uh, Town Center has some great events. We just had a huge event last Sunday there, um, and they're doing it in May and again in June. Uh, they have princesses, who have, and they're just the ones we had in the store with Elsa and her sister Anna. And I mean, they really looked like the movie characters. They were beautiful. The kids were so thrilled to have their picture taken with the princesses. So they're doing that. Um, there's so much going on. We have chocolate. Or we have make your own chocolate bar first Saturday of every month sure. too. So that's something you find out about through our emails as well. Very nice too. And really, uh, you're facility there has been there for over 10 years your store the royal chocolate but it's amazing how you've grown so is the town center it looks totally different from when you first got there oh unrecognizable yeah. compared to what we saw <laughs> i mean it was just nothing when we got there yeah 12 and a half years actually november or december i'm sorry was uh, our t- but yeah it's it's been a great run and i will tell you town center's growing so fast and it's just phenomenal Yeah, Brenda, all the best. Thanks for taking your time. Leave us with some uh, final words about the Royal Chocolate. The Royal Chocolate, 164 Central Park Avenue. And if you haven't tasted exquisite chocolate, come and see us. And if you want more, come and see us again. Right. Also, folks, you can sit there and visit with your friends. Have a nice beverage, too, because it's uh, springtime. they got restrooms there. they got dessert. They've got something for everyone, even those great cashews that I always get. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> Don't forget the cashews. No. Brenda, all the best. We'll talk to you in May. Okay. Thanks, Greg. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. Brenda Tusing right there from the Royal Chocolate. And of course, uh, her phone number is 557-6925. Folks, great place for dessert, candy, seven days a week in the town center in Virginia Beach. Sports scene will continue after these messages. Thank you, too, for your great show because it really makes people think about topics that are important. I listen and I love and I've called in before, too. I just really appreciate your your uh, program. I also think that it's good to have debates because it lets us all dig a little deeper. Hey, what does God's Word say about that? So I appreciate your show. I think it's great. And I think we all should be digging deeper into the Word of God and seeking God as to what He's called us to do. Be sure to tune in to Picking Up the Habit every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. here on the Lighthouse 100.1 FM. 
Mark your calendar for May 30th to June 2nd as St. Constantine and Helen Greek Orthodox Church in Newport News presents the, the Newport, Newport News Greek, Greek Festival. Festival. Eat, drink, and celebrate authentic Greek culture on the peninsula. Located at 60 Travis Road off exit 258B on Route 17 in Newport News. For more, log on to newportnewsgreekfestival.org. See you May 30th to June 2nd at the Newport News Greek Festival. Opa! What tease you off? Presented by Hampton Roads Online Mall.com. I want to thank our good friends at Buffalo Wild Wings and Newport News. Go by and see Paul and the wonderful staff. Great lunch, dinner, appetizers, salads, boneless traditional wings, all types of great specials, roll-out menu. Download their app, like them on Facebook, visit their website. Excellent food, beverages, desserts. Watch all the NBA playoffs, Major League Baseball, NHL playoffs, golf, tennis at Buffalo Wild Wings and Newport News. Great food, seven days a week. Catch up with some friends, get some food, late night as well. Buffalo Wild Wings in Newport News, right next to Patrick Henry Mall. Address 12150 Jefferson Avenue. The best Buffalo Wild Wings in the area. Alright, what tees me off? Of course, Andrew, a lot of things tee me off of course. Uh, misjudging curbs whether you're walking on them or driving into a curb. Oh yeah, I broke my toe not paying attention to a uh, curb and a ultimate Frisbee game that was foolishly played in a parking lot, so I am very mindful <laughs> when I <laughs> I'm in parking lots or crossing the street. Falling down on concrete's not funny either. Oh, not at all. My son just split his head open, falling down on the sidewalk, had to go get stitches, the whole thing. It was awful. Oh, my goodness. Having to get out of your car in a place you're not familiar with especially in a bad part of town. I experienced that recently. That was not fun. Well, you know, people say I grew up in a really bad part of town, so I guess I don't think about it too often. And, uh, yeah, you you say a prayer and you go for it. You have your phone (laughs) in your pocket, and that's about as much as you can do. That's all you can do. There's nothing like this, Andrew, overbearing perfumes or smells, especially when you're close by somebody. I kid you not. I was out on the walking somewhere, and someone drove by in their car, and I I could smell the perfume. Maybe the windows were open. I don't think so. I could smell the fragrance coming out of that vehicle as it passed me. There's nothing worse than uh, dust in the house, but pollen doesn't help. And then you got dust everywhere on the furniture, and then you're constantly inhaling it. The pollen is the only thing that I dislike about the strip spring in Hampton Roads. Fortunately, I'm not allergic. I hear people say that if you get local honey at the beginning of spring and you eat it, uh, you're less likely to have a problem with the pollen. So maybe it's something for folks to check out. We talked about chores earlier in your question of the day presented by Buffalo Wild Wings, but nothing like the spring to remind you it's grass cutting season, but what else is worse is those yellow weeds. Weeds. I, we, we just planted new grass two years ago. Our front yard now just looks just like a, a, a garden of weeds. I don't understand it. Fortunately, my neighbor is a, a lawn maintenance guy and he's going to help me through the, the whole thing, but man, it is frustrating. We don't try to make divisions at church and We've talked about this with Andrew before, especially now with Lent and Easter season and, of course, all types of things coming up in the spring. But you shouldn't have an invite list for a memorial luncheon where you alienate half the church. That doesn't really do good. That is can be such a painful thing. It can really burn down a lot of bridges. It's just a, a bad idea. It's in bad taste, and especially for an event like that when things are already bad. It's a memorial, folks. Just have something after church. Have some light snacks invite everyone to the event great way to cause division at church for sure especially this time of the year having to work a lot on the weekends andrew that's not fun you pretty much want your weekends for yourself and family time yeah it's true the last uh, well really my entire career i've worked most saturdays since i was an adult um i work l- more on the weekend now though i work a lot of times on sundays too i don't like it but i try and take advantage as much time as i can with my family in the middle of the week sneaky people andrew we've worked with a lot of them we've seen them before in our personal and business life they're not fun sneaky people yeah i regret to say i work for a nonprofit where someone walked out of the door with uh, thousands of dollars in their pocket it is it's sad it's hard to believe that it happens but it does happen and and you need to guard yourself from it last thing this is really bad having your hands full is one thing and trying to walk in the door we've all done that but dropping things with your hands full is even worse uh, i'm the worst at doing 
doing that. I just, for whatever reason, that second trip back to the car just seems like it's such an impossible task. I just want to get it all and walk inside. I always regret it. I break something, stub my toes, something goes wrong. That's what teased me off. want to thank our great guest today, George Pantis, Ian Locke, George McLean, and Brenda Tusing. For more, go to gjbtv.com, click the YouTube link, at Greg Bick on Twitter, at GJB Radio on Twitter. For Andrew, I'm Greg Bickaveras. We'll talk to you soon. Did you know that on average each week, 28 babies on the Virginia Peninsula die by abortion? Maybe abortion has touched you personally, and you know how overwhelmed a woman can feel when facing an unplanned pregnancy. CareNet Peninsula is a community-funded nonprofit bringing practical help and hope in Jesus to women facing difficult pregnancy decisions. Would you participate in our Spring Walk for Life fundraiser to raise awareness and fund our local pregnancy clinic? Visit cnpeninsula.org slash events to register. That's cnpeninsula.org slash events.